Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading tonight. I am here hanging with Maggie Good Vibes, our saucy little beaver. She's just relaxing by her fireplace. Uh, we wanted to come on and tap into the masculine's heart space a little bit. You know, energetically, what I'm feeling is it's a very creative time for the masculines. This year is going to bring about a lot of changes for the masculine collective. I feel like many of them are going to be embarking on a journey to self, like self development, a lot of purpose as well in the work that they do. Um, and that's what's been lacking. I feel like many of them are innovative, and that's the word I've been picking up on. Many of your masculines have a lot of ideas on how they want to leave their mark in this world. And I do feel that the universe is playing a big role right now in helping to orchestrate physical meetings between twin flames. Um, there is also, there's a lot of energy coming up about sensuality, connecting, bonding, friendship. Um, all of this is like medicine that is fueling the connection between twin flames right now. And there is something about the Divine Feminine's groundedness that, you know, it, it's really assisting the Divine Masculines to also ground themselves in a way. I feel like just being near the Divine Feminine, it's like their anxiety reduces itself or, you know, it kind of reminds me of some of the messages that I have in some of the written decks that I've done. The message that comes up is I feel so much better after we talk. All right, so that, that's the kind of stuff that's been coming up. And, and you know, on top of that, I feel like many of you are heavily on your Divine Masculine's mind as well because it just, it feels good. It feels like home to me is what I'm hearing. And I've been getting a lot of passionate song synchronicities as well. Yeah, getting to know each other in romantic feelings. Yeah, I couldn't say it better myself. Um, I feel like this is necessary for you both. It's like the universe is shutting out other people from interfering with what needs to occur and what needs to take place. And that's a strong message for many of you that may be worried that this will never come together. You might think about your person very sensually. You might think about SEX with them a lot. You don't know where it's coming from, but you do know that it is exhilarating. It not only makes you feel sensual and H-O-R-N-Y, <laughs> but it also gives you the ability to create, okay? And that is kundalini energy, okay? So when, when you meet your twin flame, you know, many people mistake the um, sensual energy for, oh, that's all they want and... If you're a divine feminine, most likely you're le you have wounds where you feel like that, right? That's all they want. For many of the divine masculines, they question themselves. Why do I feel so sensual? Okay, and what I want to explain is like there's a purpose for the universe allowing you two to get to know each other right now in a really safe place, in a really safe space, um, so that you two can really express your romantic feelings. Um, many of your masculines are going to be innovative and they're going to be creating a lot of big things this year. Uh, if you're in the feminine energy, many of you are already serving your communities. Many of you have already gotten the memo on that, you know, helping others through your own success, sharing your resources and not hoarding resources. Um, and if you do go after you know, earning more if you have that drive within either your astrology or life path number, you're finding that you are um, getting into things like philanthropy and, and sponsoring others, supporting others. Many of you are supporting businesses. You're, I, I'm seeing that many of the, of the feminines in this collective who have done very big things, very great things, and you've uh, attracted a lot of abundance. Um, at first, you were like, why is this happening? Why all these changes? Universe, explain to me what I need to do. And many of you have been given direction about how it is you need to help your community to thrive and to grow and to feel nurtured, okay? That's really strong feminine energy coming through for many of you, okay? A lot of you have tarot, re uh, tarot channels as well. Um, and as much as your community gives to you, you guys make really conscious efforts to give back as well because... I think that over time you've seen that in order to help money flow, you have to give, right? Like there is no other way around it. Um, in fact, one lesson that my mom always taught us when we were kids is to, you should always give when you don't, when you're, you know, when you're in a place where you 
like someone really needs help in that moment it's like it's 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 best to help them in that moment and sometimes it may feel like man i don't even have but i genuinely know that i can help this person out because maybe you're in a mental state of mind where it's like you know what i can make that money back this person needs it more than i do like once you start getting into a space like that um just abundance grows and it thrives okay um so that's why i feel like the universe is pushing you two together many of your masculines are on this road to gaining financial freedom for themselves and it has something to do with this feminine's energy remember you guys are two souls that i mean you guys are one soul and you're split into two embodiments of that same soul so when one experiences one thing it triggers the other to get on board okay so um you know if you, uh, many of your masculines might have come in and if you're in the feminine energy they may have taught you how to bring about stability uh, into your life having to be very resilient and logical and create a lot of structure and routine in your life in order to uh, uh, align with techniques that help you to earn more okay um, I know that was a lot of messages around that but I, I really do feel like it's necessary for you to to come together right now in this way like share your romantic feelings with each other um express yourself i feel like many of your your masculines are romantic you know by nature okay and this is something that if you're a divine feminine you long to be nurtured in the way that your masculine wants to do that like either with their touch their hands um their words the way they they would the way they're passionate about you okay the way that they're romantic about you i feel like this is something that you've always lacked uh, in previous relationships divine feminine and just know the universe has your back okay the universe is taking care of this connection right now i feel like the twin flame connection and the universe is like this and it's like no one can get in okay so if you resonate with this reading and sometimes you worry about whether or not a physical encounter will take place with you and your masculine or vice versa you could be a masculine tuning in and just wondering like am i being tortured by the universe is, or is this actually going to happen um you know 717 if you're drawn to this energy if you've had dreams about physically connecting with your twin flame if the sensuality aspect of it the physical attraction the romantic feelings are a large part of your journey um i feel like the universe is already answering your question right it's just a matter of you believing it okay and once you have that belief that it is happening you're not going to have any doubts or questions anymore all right so what is your divine masculine want you to know at this time about how it is they're sensually feeling towards you okay because it's clear that they want to get to know you the universe is obviously orchestrating things in a way to make this happen you know many of your masculines are coming through with this just romantic energy i'm also hearing to trust it you know don't let your fear and ego get the best of you right now the universe is protecting this okay what do your masculines want you to know about how they feel sensually okay so we have the ace of cups okay so you know they're both laying here embracing one another and you guys know how youtube is so i'm gonna not try to reveal too much on that card but you know there's a big cup here um you know it's filled it's the it's this new opportunity in love and that's why i feel like the universe is protecting it because the universe wants you both to have this new start um like free from interference karmic interference okay many of your masculines or even your divine feminines their karmics are still trying to cling their karmics are still trying to trigger them through old patterns um, trying to trigger your person to feel possessive or jealous of their karmic situations a lot of the time a lot of the times when you have a karmic situation it's very hard to let go of because of an old or past lifetime okay so you 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 might have done the same thing where you left them abruptly or you decided to just follow your own path and it caused them a lot of pain and instead of going on their healing journey and also letting go the, these karmic situations just consistently want you to pay and suffer for what you did to them so it'll follow you into this lifetime until you learn that the lesson is completely to cut it off and allow others just to deal with their emotional and soul growth um, in this lifetime okay but that's the message that's coming through i feel like many of your masculines have prayed behind the scenes whether they're in karmic situations or not they've prayed for this beginning with this divine feminine they've prayed for 
I don't know, like a new start, a fresh start, the opportunity for them to be alone with you, to look at you, to look into your eyes. I'm hearing that many of you too have graduated from like texting to now talking over the phone. And it's, it's helping your connection to grow into deeper levels because now instead of texting, you can now hear each other's tone of voice, you know, a lot more, you absorb a lot more and expect to tell expect telepathy <laughs> my trini accent wanted to come out and i was gonna say telepathy <laughs> telepathy um it reminds me of uh the olympic swimmer from trinidad dylan carter gosh he's so fine guys oh my goodness but he does a really good job of switching between a north american accent and like a very polished trini accent oh gosh shout out dylan carter all right anyways so you know what i'm getting from this is that like the universe is definitely um you know showing you that the more you two bond telepathy increases when you guys start hearing each other's voices you're going to start communicating more when you guys connect with each other in the physical for the first time again telepathy will increase you'll be able to smell your person and that's your way of knowing that they're thinking about you or trying to communicate so you know pay extra attention to that song synchronicity it's like you smell your person and you know in the air it's like you know look out for what things around you are trying to come up to communicate with you okay um, let's go ahead and get another message from here. Okay, what does your person want to communicate to you centrally? Okay, so we do have the hermit here coming through as well. Um, you know, again, guys, because the energy is so intense, I'm not going to show the card too much, but, um, you know, maybe from like a distance here, but it's the hermit sitting in the cave and in the background are two people making love. Um, you know, I, I do feel that many of your masculines, they... They can have the tendency to ghost or go back into their shell when it comes to expressing all of these romantic feelings. Um, and the message that I'm getting with this is allow them that space, like to go into the hermit if they connect with you centrally or, you know, physically, or let's say you guys talk on the phone for the first time and you don't hear from them for a few days. It's like, don't go messaging them you know the paragraphs and you know projecting your insecurity onto them just give them the time and space and know that we're all human and we all take time to absorb things differently um, another message i'm getting with the hermit card is like if your person goes into that hermit energy the best way to combat that is to be busy yourself okay make sure that you have things going on in your own life that you are passionate about and that you know it keeps you busy it keeps you away from trying to figure other people out all the time and what their emotions and reactions mean it's like they'll come around in their own time all right so yeah that's what i have for you guys for this reading you guys take care of yourselves and me and this saucy little beaver will catch you guys tomorrow okay oh i'm sorry to wake you you just look so cute <laughs> all right guys we'll both catch you tomorrow bye guys